Hi everyone, fresh bit of content for you today, CBR 650R, latest 2024 spec. So let's start with a little walk round. So you've got LED lights all round. You've got a 310mm discs being grabbed by radial calipers. 41mm single function big piston forks. One, thing's that, one of the things they have done for this year is they redesigned it. So you've got a new tail end now. Bit pointier, a bit more aggressive. Larger tail light in there makes it a bit easier to be seen from behind. This particular one's an E-clutch, but we'll get back to that in a minute. As I said, LED lights all round, so you've got new headlights in there, revised front end, more pointy, more aggressive looking, to look like he's bigger brother, the fire blade. And then look how deep that red paint is on that petrol tank. Honda definitely knows how to paint a motorbike. That Grand Prix red is a lovely colour. And then the best addition for this year is your TFT dash. Way better than the outgoing LCD. Let's take a look at seat height on this CBR. So according to the info, it's 810 millimeters. So the easiest way to work that out in the real world is to pop yourself on it. So I'm five foot 10, 32 inch inside leg. So I would say Mr. Average. Uh, feet flat on the ground, slightly bent leg. Uh, pick me feet up there. And as you can see, it's quite a sporty position. I am pulled quite far forward and into the fairing. Uh, my legs are rather bent, but I don't work hard for a living, so all my joints are nice and supple, and I can do a couple hundred mile on this bike and no bother at all. So just bear in mind, it is quite a sporty position. I've noticed a few uh, of the bike press mentioned the e-clutch uh, touching the leg, but as you can see there, it's not touching mine. I did a couple hundred miles on this bike, never noticed the motors of the e-clutch sticking out and getting into my leg at all. So you'd have to ride it for yourself and see for yourself, but it's fine for me. Let's have a little bit of a uh, spec chat. So single function big piston forks were very plush. This is a horrible bumpy bit of road and the forks were coping quite nicely. There's no adjustment on them, but they are set up lovely. They were coping really well with this horrible bumpy road. Let's talk motor now. So you've got around about 94 BHP, which is quite canny. I mean, the older CBRs had more BHP they were 599 this is a 650 well this bhp which what happens is it increases the torque makes it easier to ride and you get better miles per gallon speaking of torque you've got 63 newton meters of torque so you've got plenty of shove out the corners and it was great fun to ride oh yes and the cbr's big advantage is it's an inline four have a listen to this it sounds great when you get it singing Just in case you missed it, here's a little static sound bite. Enjoyed riding the CBR 650. I spent a few days on it. I spent a bit of time on twisty country lanes where it excelled. The motor, when you rev it, is great fun. The suspension's really plush. Those radial brakes are excellent. But then you want to use it around town as a commuter, and I didn't find it uncomfortable. I thought it was great. And that E clutch is amazing. Proper good bit of kit. If you want to find out more, you'll see there's a link appeared. Just hit the link, go to all of that bit of content and enjoy watching. Bye for now and see you in the shop.